I have figured out how to enable controller for the once human beta. And I'm gonna show you all the steps that you need to do that. And at the end, hopefully I'm gonna have a custom community layout that you guys can use. If you have an Xbox controller, it may work for other controllers as well. But the first thing you wanna do is open your Steam as admin. So you're gonna to wanna to right click on here, right click on here, and then run as administrator, okay? That is key because mine was not working until I did so. Now, once that's open, you're gonna to go to Steam settings down here to controller, and then you're gonna make it sure that your enable Steam input for Xbox controllers or whichever control you have, make sure that that's enabled because you also need that. All right, once those two things are done, now it's time to set the actual game up. You're gonna to go to library here, still within the Steam settings, go to add a non-Steam game, and then you're gonna search this list for once human. Now mine's already in there, so I'm just gonna use Overwatch as an example because it runs through the uh, battle net, but you would click this here and then you would add selected programs. Now I've already done that, so when you go into games over here, you're gonna see once human. Now it says running right now, I'm just gonna hit stop on that but it's gonna show up right here in Steam, and if you launch it through here, you're gonna be able to use your controller. So what you wanna do is go to your properties and make sure that this is what your target and start in look like. You wanna be pointing to this loading bay launcher. If you look up here, you can see you can see where all the files are. You cannot make it go to the once human ex executable because it's gonna to wanna to open the launcher. So you want the launcher here, you want the start in to be the folder where the loading bay launcher is, okay? And then for controller, you wanna make sure it says enabled per game override. Make sure you enable Steam input because it won't just use what's in there. And a lot of the mechanics of the game are not also mapped on controller. You can look at settings in Once Human and a lot of the build buttons and stuff like that are not set up. So I just did enable Steam input. And then what you wanna do is you can either do this while you have the game open and you're playing it to adjust and make sure everything is working right. But you click on this controller over here and you're gonna be using, I just started out with the keyboard WASD and mouse one generic, and then I've been updating it to the settings that I want. There are community layouts that you can use, but neither of these really worked for me. They didn't really seem right for once human. So I've been creating my own. And once I finish it, I'm gonna share that with you guys. Hopefully this in this video, hopefully in this video, I'll edit it in to say, and here it is. But I am just recording this now. But you wanna make sure you have Steam input enabled. And so when you click play in Steam, you're gonna get the launcher to pop up. There's another update apparently. And then we can start up the game here and I'll show you that the controller works. It's a little bit hard to show you because it's still gonna show the keyboard buttons. All right, so we're in the game. This is the easiest way I can show you guys. So I'm using the mouse now. You can see I'm turning around, but then I also can use the controller and we can use this to jump and I can use this to switch weapons using Y and I can, let's get my uh, bow out here and I can shoot, etc. I mean, obviously I'm just using this on a table, but that's how you do it and you can use your mouse to build if you like to do that or to navigate into you know the menus etc if you want to look at like a gear menu and you want to look at your items you can do that with your mouse and then you can just have your controller as well all right so here's the edit showing you guys where to find the xbox controller layout this is what it's called once human xbox layout i've set up as much as I can, you're gonna have to do building with mouse and keyboard still. I think it's just uh, a lot going on. It probably works better that way anyways. I think I have accounted also for the vehicle, but I don't have one yet since I just started playing. I will try and update you guys if I change it in any way, but this is just to get you started and then you guys can edit the layout from there. But I have all the different buttons on here. Use, crouch, reload, swap weapons, jump, deviation control, which is important, and then we've got on the d-pad I put the flashlight on the up uh, d-pad and then I put four five six from your uh, hotkeys or hot 
bar, I guess. And then we've got trigger is normal. And then I put crouch on the right stick and then directional and sprint on the left stick. So that is how I set everything up for myself. Feel free to change it around. But if you want to find it, then you can click here, click on community layouts and my Abiar once human layout should be right here. So you can check that out. All right, guys, hopefully that helped you out and you can get your controller set up and running for the closed beta test three for once human. I hope you enjoy because the previous beta test, I use mouse and keyboard and my keyboard is atrocious and my mouse is horrible and I love using my controller. So it helped me out a lot. Hopefully it helped you guys. If it did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe and I will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.